Are you looking for some great watch faces? I've got my top 10 picks for Galaxy Watch 4 and Wear OS faces coming up next for you. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff and on this channel I do all sorts of different tech review tip videos including Galaxy Watch 4 videos and this video is actually a second video I'm making on my top watch faces. The other one I did a couple of months ago and I will link to that down in the description below so be sure to check that out after this video if you're looking for even more cool watch faces. And be sure to stick around till the end of the video because in addition to my top 10 watch faces I'm going to give you two bonus watch faces as well. To install any of the cool watch faces I'm talking about in this video, swipe up from the bottom of your screen, go to the Google Play Store, click on the magnifying glass to search, and then go ahead and search for any of the names of these watch faces. They'll also be linked down in the video description below. These will be all the faces that I'm talking about in this video. So this is the Quante watch face, and it features kind of more of a simplistic look, a very clean layout, something that is a little different from more of those traditional watch faces. Uh, it's got its hot buttons for timer, stopwatch, alarm, and flash. You can see your watch and phone battery status. It's ticking down the seconds using this middle ring. You can sync it up with your local weather and it shows you the day, date, and time as well. You also have options where you can go in and customize. Now you're limited uh, unless you go for the premium access, but for free, uh, you can change the colors. So like the orange, you can make that a uh, blue or red or a whole slew of different colors to give this watch face the look you want. In my opinion, this is a great simplistic watch face. This is Quante. So I want to show you Fury. And uh, Fury's got a lot going on, very complex uh, watch face. You do have options where you can customize. Um, actually, I've installed the companion app on my phone, which makes it easier to change things like the colors. So just on my phone here, it's a little bit quicker in the app. I can go in, change different color schemes uh, to give the watch a different feel. You get all these options for free, things like uh, that second hand that's ticking around. You can also make that smooth. So I've just smoothed that out versus having it tick along. Um, there are more features you can unlock if you do the paid version. But as far as information, I mean, you can see everything here. There's lots of different stats, including the fact that you've got your time. You can see your watch battery. So right now, just over 60%. I was able to sync it up to my weather. Uh, it also shows you your phone battery percentage. So lots of different options, lots of different information there. Um, I'm just seeing if I can click on any of those things. I guess I can't but uh, it also shows you the date and day. So this is going to be Fury, one of my favorite watch faces. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot that briefly pops up in all the videos on this channel, including this video. He looks just like this guy right on my shirt. If you happen to spot him popping up, be the first person to let me know the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up down in that comment section below. And if you are the first person, I will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So this next watch face is Info Brick and nice use of the screen as far as showing you the time. Uh, the different stats that you have, steps, calories, uh, this, you can tap on it. So like this one right here is your battery, showing you roughly how much battery percentage you have left. Uh, you can actually go in and do lots of customization to this particular watch face. So in customization, if I scroll up or down, you'll notice it changes what the numbers are going to look like. So you can change that look. If you swipe to the left, this allows you to change colors. So you've got all sorts of different color options that you can change. And then again, swiping to the left, this is going to give you the option here where you can change the different complications. So like right now, it was showing me my sleep information up top. I could change that to any one of these other uh, pieces of information instead. When you're done, just hitting OK takes you back to the watch face. InfoBrick is a great watch face showing lots of information 
and I like all the different customization to it. This watch face is B-Sides. Yeah, that's fun to say. Uh, it's got all sorts of different things going on. The analog clock face uh, is the main uh, dominant feature on this. It's kind of got that uh, textured background, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it'll show you things like uh, it's got the weather in the corner. It also shows your phone battery life real small. It's hidden right there. Uh, and then other than that, you've also got like your timer, stopwatch, alarm, and flash. Uh, you can customize with the free version some of the hands. So like that uh, ticking seconds hand, you can make that different colors. You can also change that blue in the digital background if you want to make that something different. Uh, so lots of different style color options for besides watch face. So in addition to my top watch faces, I've done a whole series of videos on my top apps for music, productivity, games, even arcade games. You can check out all of those videos linked down in this video description below. So next we're taking a look at Carbon Neon and very simplistic yet cool watch. You get all of these features for free as far as customization. Uh, there is a paid option that you can unlock for more options. But if we go to settings, you can change that neon color from blue to any one of these other cool, crazy colors that they have. Uh, you can kind of pick which one you want, always on screen display. Analog or digital, I think the analog looks way cooler than the digital, but I'll show you an example here. Uh, and then you've got options where you can hide the neon. So let's just take a look here what the digital looks like versus the analog. Um, those different options. The other thing is you can add up to one different uh, complication. So if you want it to show a stat of like uh, calendar, um, you can do reminders, blood oxygen, you know, your daily activity steps, you can add all that in as well. And then you get one. If you want to pay for the paid version, you will have more than that. But now that's something that's taken up the screen. So, uh, I like the simplistic look of it personally with the analog. Um, this one is Carbon Neon. Very cool, simplistic watch face. Let's take a look at Wear Chronograph. And very stylish looking, uh, very slick looking watch face, in my opinion, showing a lot of different details. We've got our analog clock with the uh, second hand that has the smooth movement and then a bunch of different stats. So your battery, date and time. Down here we have our steps and that is uh, customizable so you can change that to a different stat. And then over here we have a world clock and you can actually change what time you want based on where you're at. So if you want North America, uh, you can even choose what city. You can choose all these different, uh, you know, South America, we've got Europe, Australia. So if we click on like Australia, if you wanted to know what time it was in Sydney, you can have that set up and then that's always gonna be showing that on this watch face. In addition to that, um, you've got some limited customization options. Uh, you can go uh, and just swipe up and it'll, anything as far as changing colors, uh, hand style, things like that, it, if you tap on them, it's gonna ask you to pay for the paid version. Um, but otherwise you've got things you can turn on and off here such as smooth seconds, uh, weekday ring on the right. So a little bit of customization, but overall very impressed with the Wear Chronograph watch face. So this next watch face is called Legion. And I really like all the design aspects. Um, this is a very fancy looking watch face to me. Uh, you've got everything from your analog uh, watch hands that are ticking away, including the second hand. You also have all the tick marks and numbers showing you the uh, 12, 3, 6, and 9. You've got customization options in here as well. So I'm going to use my phone to just make some of the customizations, but you can change the color of different aspects. So the hour and date where it says uh, 1052 and then the day right underneath it. Um, you also can change the tick marks as I just did. You know, there's tons of different colors to choose from. Um, you have these little widgets uh, that are customizable, but those are only customizable if you pay for the premium. Otherwise, uh, you can sync up your weather. Uh, this is cool because it shows my uh, phone's battery life, my watch's battery life. Uh, it's also got the, ticket, uh, the uh, ticking seconds in the middle. 
This is actually showing the uh, number of weeks that we are into the year. Uh, so seven days on the calendar, we are 22 weeks into the year. Now there's also cool hot buttons on the side. So this is to set a timer. Uh, you also have a stopwatch, an alarm, and then if you would like a flash, uh, you can do that all from just hot buttons right on the watch face itself. Uh, and then, like I said, limited uh, customization as far as changing colors and things. If you want to change some of the other widgets and all that, that is available with the premium version. This is the Legion watch face. So you are looking at the Destroy watch face. And there is some cool aspects to this watch face. Uh, you do have the uh, time, all rugged looking, the date and the seconds ticking away. It shows you, you can sync it up, so it shows you the weather, temperature, phone, battery, watch, battery, uh, and then it also has the hot buttons, so timer, stopwatch, alarm, flash. Uh, in addition to that, for without having to buy the premium version, as far as uh, customization, um, you can go in and customize. I'm gonna do this on my phone but you can change all the different color aspects. So if you don't want red or if you don't want that cream color, you can choose that to you know, make it whatever you want. We're gonna make it just a little bit darker. Um, something else that's cool, and again, this is a free feature, is see how everything's kind of slanted on an angle, that rotation? You can change the rotation. Uh, so right now it's on a 35 degree angle. Let's make it 65. Uh, I can mess with it. You've got, you can go all the way to negative 65 and then anywhere in between. So you can actually put it at whatever rotation you want and uh, you can turn off the seconds dots right there. So a lot of different cool things you can do to customize this watch face. This one is probably one of the coolest ones I've seen as far as customization, just the fact that you can rotate what's on your screen. This is Destroy. And if you wanna get more out of using your Galaxy Watch 4, I've done my 18 things to know and do first video that has all sorts of tips on it, as well as another video just on battery saving tips that you're gonna to wanna to check out. Those will also be linked down in this video description below. So we're looking at the G over watch face and we can see everything here from the analog ticking hands with the second hand uh, even to the digital display and I like the layout of this watch there's a lot going on it's got more of a fancy look to it you've got the uh, ticking seconds hand but you've also got the dots here so if you easily wanted to count five seconds or ten seconds you can do that you've got things like stopwatch as far as hot buttons that you can just quickly go and tap on. You can see your stats for weather. Um, if you've got notifications, uh, what week in the year we're at, and then even hidden down here we see my battery for my phone. We see the watch battery status up top. You've got an alarm, timer, and flash that you can also play with, and then you also can go in and customize uh, the different color schemes and stuff without having to pay for the premium edition. There's a few more options that you can change if you go with premium, but for the amount of customization and cool features you get for this free watch face, this G over watch face is definitely one of my favorites. Are you enjoying this video? Hey, do a good deed for today. Smash that like button. It helps this video out and I greatly appreciate it. Let's explore the Novus watch app and definitely one of the busier watch apps out of the ones that I've been showing. Uh, it is cool. Um, there is a ton of information that they are just packing into this watch face, starting with days of the week up top, digital time underneath the analog hands for time. You've got your uh, phone battery life. You've got the watch battery life. It'll even show you the current weather that you can sync up and then the date on the bottom. It's also got tick marks for the time going all the way around. Uh, you can customize the colors. So right now we're looking at red and you can do everything from greens, blues, pinks, um, all sorts of different options to make it the color scheme that you're looking for. Again, a very busy watch face, but I do think it gives kind of a professional look to the watch. Uh, this is the Novus watch face. Well, if you made it this far into the video, I might as well show you my two 
favorite bonus watch faces as promised. So this is the X-Force watch face. I just like saying that. I'm on the X-Force. Anyways, uh, you've got a lot going on in this very slick looking watch face. Uh, first off, going all the way around that outer edge is going to be a ring. Uh, that is ticking down the seconds along with that analog second hand. You can see the hour and minutes. Uh, you've got the digital time on the side as well as a ticking second wheel that's right over here. You've got phone battery, watch battery. You can sync it up with your local weather. Uh, the week of the year, we're in the 22nd week. And then you've got your hot buttons that are going to be on the sides. So timer, stopwatch, alarm, and flash. Uh, a lot going on. You've got all those little tick marks going around. And then you've got some customization features with the free version where you can change that background color. So you can, uh, you've got probably a hundred different color options to choose from. You can pick the tone that you are looking for. Ooh, that one's really bright. Um, they do have a whole bunch of like toned down colors as well if you're looking for more of like a darker image but you wanted something kind of cool that's kind of neat uh, so lots of ways to uh, really make your watch stand out from the average watch this is just so cool to me this is the x-force watch face so let's talk about comic pow hd yes this transforms your watch gives it that comic look um, as far as uh comics go i'm a big comic fan i love marvel i love dc so being able to kind of add some of that character to your watch is really cool that number 27 that's down in the corner that is going to be the date and for the free version as far as customizing that's really all you can do um, you can just turn the clock on and off uh, as far as like if you want 24 hours or uh, if you want an hourly vibrate uh, that date can be turned on and off as well otherwise for the free version you don't get any other customization uh, unlocking by paying for it you can change the colors and things like that but in the meantime comic pow is a great watch face that i love to bring more character to the watch so i'm interested to know which is your favorite watch face let me know down in the comments section below or maybe you know of a watch face that i didn't mention in this video let other people know as well my name is jeff and like i was mentioning i've done all sorts of other cool galaxy watch 4 videos including showing you how to use the easy voice recorder to record yourself seminars memos things like that and then getting that audio back out of your watch and even doing things like using gestures to do different things on your watch so many cool things with the galaxy watch 4 and you can check out some of those videos also popping up at the end of this video as always i appreciate you watching be sure to make every day awesome and i will see you in the next video